Cancer, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for September 16th all the way to September 22nd, so welcome, Cancer. How's that Mars in your sign doing? Hmm? Is it agitating? Is it frustrating? Is it just making you mad? Well, too bad. Because if you think that's got to fucking hold on you, wait till you find out what's in store for you. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. You know, it's all in how you take it. All right. So welcome, Cancer. Let's get down to it. We have two big major events happening, one at the beginning of the week and one at the end. And uh, I'm going to break it down for you. First of all, it is a full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces. All right. Let's break it down. Full moon shines light on something to release, to let go of, to be aware of things that we need to let go of. Lunar eclipse intensifies that shit like a hundredfold. And not only that, it affects last three to maybe six months with a lunar eclipse, maybe three months, I would say, you know, um, a regular full moon takes 28.6 days. This is like three months. So it's a long haul here. Pisces fellow water sign this may be a little bit more smoother for you because all water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, all are in harmonious aspect to each other. So this, is a, this could be a good thing to release Pisces energy, which is emotional. It can be inspirational. You can get a strike of inspiration. It's creativity. It's also disillusionment. And the veil, the fog over the landscape, really can't tell what it is, can't trust what you're seeing. Maybe you need to release that. And the area that the full moon is shining its light in is in your fifth house of romance, joy, fun, children, going out and having a good time. It's all things Leo. It's all just loving life. You know what I mean? Experiencing life. It has a heavy tone of romance and how we feel about that. The 5th and the 11th house are opposite each other. So what I was taught in astrology was that the 5th house also means giving and receiving love. The 5th and the 11th house. How do react? How do we react to giving and receiving love? Is it reciprocated? Why not? Is it because we attract a certain kind of partner that we already know will not reciprocate, but yet we try? Maybe that's something you need to work on, you know? So this lunar eclipse is going to bring on an emotional undertone. You're probably already feeling it. And it's going to have to do about the way that you look at your relationships and love and romance. And is it all just about sex? Is it all about just intimacy? Can you get, can you get what you're putting out there? Okay. Pretty heavy shit. And then on the 22nd, we have the fall equinox. We are going out of Virgo season and into Libra season, a more balanced time. I like to utilize these four times of the year, the solstices and the equinoxes, to get myself in line with the solar system's true north. And the solar system's true north is the sun. And when it moves into Libra, it's a time for balance and reflection, gratitude. The bounty is now you're harvesting the seeds that you planted in the spring. And the sun is also making a trine to Pluto, a very harmonious aspect that allows us to gain perspective on what we've done since the start of spring. Okay? Heavy stuff. But you could always use a good emotional release. And you know, because Mars is in Cancer, it's pushing you to release it. There's going to be a release, you know? So be prepared for it if you haven't already. Because it's good. It's like when you have a good cry. You know what I mean? It's like when you have a good cry. How do you feel after that? You feel fucking fantastic. You know? You feel so much more relieved. That's kind of what this energy will present to you. All right? So we got the cards. Let's do it. Hmm. Yeah, there's a... You talk about reciprocating energy. Holy shit. We got two cards that signify that. And, oh my God, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, you're challenging me. I think... I think this has to go here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this goes here. Like that. And then that. Holy shit. All right. Cancer. It's on and popping, honey. I'm going to tell you that. Let's start with this. The Eight of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, <clears throat> this is all based on your intuition. Trust that intuition, that moon energy that you are so connected with, Cancer. The Eight of Swords is beating yourself up. What the fuck is going on here? Your thoughts are not serving you here. Trust your intuition instead. Eight of Pentacles is putting in that work. Don't talk about it. Be about it. You know what I mean? Put the effort in. The universe will respond in kind. This week, and setting up for the next three months, and look at we have the justice card. The sun is moving into Libra. So this weekend's going to be huge for you. This is about balance. You achieve balance by claiming balance. Thank you for my balanced life. Holy shit. All of a sudden, the scales start to tip back in the favor. You know, I'm going to shut this off. I don't, this is like the first time I've had my ringtone on forever. So anyway, Six of Pentacles is that reciprocating energy. Remember what we were talking about before we started, about giving and receiving love. You deserve a balanced relationship. Now, this is where things get interesting. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are out together. Now, listen, man, that shit is rare. In a 78-card deck, it's a 0.02% chance that that's going to happen. King and queen of the same suit. I've looked it up. This is significant. This is a relationship coming in, and it's reciprocating energy. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment. That's what you wanted. There it is. But this is going to stop you. I'm not worthy. I'm unlovable. I've got too much. My past. I, I've uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Ugh, you're not stuck. This energy is too good to fucking let pass by. I'll tell you that much. But you can do this. I mean, I've, I've got all the confidence in you, really, because... I think it's long overdue. It's the crescendo to the the movement. You know what I mean? The El Grato. Is that what they call it? Uh, obstacles and challenges. Well, that's what's got you verklempt because you keep focusing on those and guess what? You get more of it. And then you wonder, why is my life out of balance? Because... When you put your energy and focus into only focusing on the obstacles and challenges, my friend, you are going to experience them more than you want. But if you start focusing on, look at the good and the change and what I'm worth is coming to me, then holy shit, this goes away. Obstacles and challenges, fear is a monster. You feed it by putting its attention, your attention on it. It gets out of control. You starve it by not even paying attention to it, and it goes away. Simple truths with Jeff Smith. But it's going to take some patience and planning on your part. So this is this energy, the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, is telling you to get to fucking work. Stop talking about it. Stop finding things to make you stuck, and just do it. you got to be truthful with yourself. You're lazy. Sometimes you can be. Because you're letting your emotions rule the school. And it's not supposed to be that way. Universe. Trust the universe. It's got, it's got your back. It's got your back. Lots of scales. Lots of balancing. Lots of things balancing out. So, I mean, this is a good reading. It's just calling you out on some shit. And... Listen, man, <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Yeah, absolutely. Your healing begins when you decide to be patient with yourself and plan things accordingly. Don't set yourself up for failure. Five, six, seven, eight. 
who do we appreciate? Cancer. <laughs> Cancer. I'm serious. Look at five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm, that's the path. Boom. Manifest, baby. Be truthful with yourself. I am that powerful. I can manifest what I want. And share the love. Again, reciprocating energy. This is a friend group. Things are starting to come together here. And again, embrace the universe. Everything that it has. 21, 21. Mm. Three, three. Add these together. Three, three, three. Look at that. You can't make that shit up. Pay attention, folks. They talk to you in subtleties. You just got to know when to look. I'm that detector. Ah, there it is. You know what I'm saying? But this is significant. Embrace it. Allow it into your life. This full moon actually might be good for you. You know, relationship wise. You know, if we had the tower come out or like... Uh, another indication of a surprise, I'd be like, be surprised this weekend. You know? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. No more walls in love. I know you're tired. I know you're beat up. But now it's time to just gather them all up and keep on keeping on with the 10. So we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Keep moving forward. Cancer, you got this. You got this. A little time alone, some introspection will do you some good. Another nine. Number nine. Number nine. Um, again, eight of pentacles. Work on your skills. Work on your craft. Stop talking about it and do it. Give yourself the time. Stop chasing love. Let love come to you. You know what I mean? In the meantime, work on you. There's so much here that's work on your craft. Build yourself. Again, confidence, clarity. This is a very positive card in love. Very positive. And four of wands, harmony, things coming together. There's something significant coming together here for you. Be receptive to it. Be open to it. There's growth. There's healing. It always needs to be done. Growth is always going to happen until you're not existing anymore. You are always growing. Your nails keep growing. Your, shit, your nails and hair keep growing even after you're dead. You know, there's always growth. Uh, Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Uh, you know, you were probably like, that was pretty harsh to just say, you know, like... Stop being lazy, but focus on yourself. When was the last time you did that? You're too busy trying to fucking chase Mr. and Mrs. Goodbar out there. Ugh. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. You know, being rich is a state of mind, you know? I, I, I learned a new quote. I hope I can, I hope I can re recall it. Because I don't want to run in the other room and get my book bag because I wrote it down. But it was, if you really want to know how rich you are, count all the things that you, acqu that you acquired that didn't cost you a fucking thing. You know what I mean? And abundance with the Nine of Cups here is available to you. Abundance is available to anybody on this planet. You just have to be open to it. And there's plenty of pentacles in here to say it's all around you. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Open up to it. Your walls are up. All right, Cancer. Let's get a closing message. I think I've berated you long enough. Well, I haven't. Your guides have. All I do is just interpret it. Oh, look at that align. You're being asked to align with your current situation, even if it's not easy to do so. Trust that there is much to be learned by being here. Pushing against what is will only make things harder on you. Align, surrender, and trust. A lot of trust about where you're going. Sure, you don't know where you're going, but you would never put yourself in the face of danger. You know that. So align to what you want and allow it to come in. Balance, align, reciprocating, 
patience and planning, scales. It's all about balance. And we're moving into this fall equinox. So this weekend, this week is going to be huge for you. All right, Cancer, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget, personal readings available in the description. I got three options. Choose one or two. And uh, the freaking weekend is always posted on Wednesdays. So I guess I will see you on Wednesday.